The San Antonio Spurs have the best young core in the NBA. I like the sound of that. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Caught this article this morning, and I thought, you know what? I got to share it with you. It's actually coming from Bleacher Report. The article here is from Pounding the Rock, but Bleacher Report is the one that says the Spurs have the best young core in the NBA. Well, I'm going to this article. Drop your comment down below. Do you agree we do have the best young core in the NBA? Or you think maybe they're overhyping the Spurs a little bit too much because of Wemby? Hit that thumbs up, export the channel, and subscribe for more Spurs content. It's been a fun last uh, week or so at the Summer League. I'm a little little tired from streaming uh, every night, but uh, I'm finally having a night off tonight, and I'm going to enjoy it. But let's get into the article, and of course, get my two cents on everything here, Spurs fans. You know i got to chip in. Anyways, the Spurs went to a full-fledged youth movement last season after trading their two best players, and even before they were starting to compile draft picks and young assets to start building around, it has paid off. Not only did they win the sweet takes for top overall pick Victor Wambayama, but the rest of the young roster has shown plenty of promise for the future as well. 100% agree there. Bleach Report recently compiled a list of the best young NBA uh, cores, with the cutoff date for consideration being 23 years old. So unfortunately, Kellen Johnson excluded, because he is 23, the Spurs still came out on top, and for more reasons than just Wemby. Here's what Bleach Report had to say, Spurs fans. First off, here are the players entering the season, 23 or younger, I guess under 23. Charles Bassey, the jury's out on Charles. Dealt with an injury last year. He's shown flashes, shown the ability to be a great rebounder. When he blocks shots, he doesn't just block the shot. He sends that in the stands. Get out of here! I love the way he blocks shots. Malachi Branham, 20 years old. Yeah, he had one done in the summer league, but he has shown the ability to be a true three-level scorer. He could be a very valuable asset for us off the bench. Julian Champagny also shown to be a very valuable asset off the bench. He's 22 as well. A really good three-point shooter, really showing chops to be a 3D player. Jeremy Sohan, I've mentioned him numerous times on this video. He's going to be 20 this season, and he is just the way he grew from last season at the start to the way the season ended. I think he's going to have a much higher ceiling offensively than people thought initially. Not the defensive chops would be there, but the offensive game is just coming around beautifully. Don Vassell, 22 years as well. Don't have to say much about him. We talked about him a lot on this channel. Really developing into a 3D player and ability to score anywhere on the floor. Victor Wembanyama, do I have to say anything? And last but not least, Blake Wesley, 20 years old, who... Yeah, I'm still on the jury's on him, Blake. I like a lot of things in his game. He is incredibly fast on the court, but the turnovers, the looseness with the ball, and then the ability to get blocked relentlessly in the paint does have some concerns, but he's still very young and can develop. And if anybody's going to develop him, the best player could be... It's going to be our San Antonio Spurs. So let's get back to the article. To every single person, fear, uh, well, every person going to out some very, who's saying some variation of when Biyama is overrated, doesn't look good, busting the making, blah, 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 and sincerely meaning them following his NBA Summer League debut, with all due respect, please sit down and shut up. Victor Wambayama still looks the part of not just a star, but a mega star, a generational talent, a hybrid meld of Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, and Evan Mobley, and more. They did to establish himself as the face of the league sooner than later. That just sounds really good. I'm just reading it now and it's just thinking that I like this. The tools are there. The IQ is there. The coordination is there. The understanding will come in time. Utter dominance will follow. Okay. They need to kind of give their little thoughts here too on the players I already mentioned. Devacel has expanded his on-ball chops each year, successfully mirroring both a plug-and-play complement and independent two-way force. If Sohan's jumper progresses, which I think it will Spurs fans, he'll be in the same boat with more point guard chops and greater defensive oomph. Brandon, a bona fide score, shot 59.5% on runners and floaters, 44 and 74 as a rookie. Wesley has a raw but caps lock fast. Champion is more than a basketball nerd novelty. He's a real 3D prospect with size and some of them possess. The Spurs core is going places, potentially, if not likely, at warp speed. So that's Bleach Report's thoughts. I gave my thoughts on there and everybody. Of course, what do you think? There are a lot of other good cores out there. I like I hate to say it. The Rockets have some young, you know, have some really good young studs. The Pistons, they have a lot of great young players. A lot of teams I look around in the summer league and I'm like, man, there's a great young core. But when I look at our Spurs, and you look who it's being headed by. Granted, a big part of this best young core in the NBA is being thrusted forward because of, or we're being pushed forward, thrusted, pushed forward because of Victor Wembanyama. But I like what the Spurs have done the last few years and bring in a lot of young talent. And they even mentioned in the article, Dominic Barlow has really shown us something. He has really impressed me in the summer league. I was like, you know what? This is a player I'd want on the, the roster next year. His short jumper and mid-range jumper have just leaps and bounds of where he was last year. He's shown to be a good rebounder, shot blocker, a defender. 
and a finisher at the rim. I really like what's happening with Dominic Barlow. Let's not forget Sandro Mamo Kalashvili. He showed us a lot of you know, little blips last year that he could be a very, very valuable asset on the team. I don't know if Mamo might be. I don't know his age. He might not be under the under 23 cutoff. I know Barlow is. Barlow's like right there above me. A lot of good things happening for our San Antonio Spurs, and I am so excited for the season coming. I want to thank you all for popping the streams. When Wendy's, Wendy's been playing, the Spurs live streams are some of the best I've ever had in this channel. And this is just summer league. I can't wait to see what happens when the season starts sooner than later. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Earphone users beware. Go Spurs go!